Hello guys, welcome to Media City Top 5 News Hours. Rajasthan Royals batsman Robin Uttapa admitted his team's failure to adjust to the slowness of the Dubai Strip after a couple success on Sharjah batting Beltos was the reason for their 37 run defeat against Kolkata Knight Riders in the Indian Premier League. Activist lawyer Prashant Bhushan on Thursday filed a petition in Supreme Court seeking review of the August 31 judgment against the condemned case in which the court slapped a Rayvon fine on him. Bhushan, who had accepted the fine against the imprisonment of three months of his dissenting. The Maharashtra government in its recent guidelines said that schools, colleges and coaching in the state will remain shut till October 31. Only distant and online learning has been permitted by the government. Notably, this comes as the state see no little coronavirus cases. Priyanka Gandhi says, Jungle Raj spreading in UP, time CM should answer. After another girl was allegedly gang raped in Balrampur died, Congress leader Priyanka Gandhi Vandra on Wednesday claimed that Jungle Raj had spread in Uttar Pradesh. A horrific incident like Hadras took place in Balrampur. The girl was raped and her legs and back were broken. In Asamgar, Bagbat, Bulanshar, the girls were brutally raped, the Congress leader said in a tweet. There is no limit of Jangal Raj in Uttar Pradesh. Law and order does not work through marketing or speeches. This is time for the Chief Minister to answer. The public needs an answer, she further said. A 22-year-old woman who was allegedly gang raped in Balrampur died on Wednesday. Devran Chand, Superintendent of Police Balrampur said she died on the way when the family was taking her to the hospital. They claim that two men raped her. Both of them have been arrested. The Telangana Congress on Wednesday demanded that the Centre and Uttar Pradesh government file an appeal against the Judgment CBI Special Court in Babri Masjid's demolition case, which has acquitted all the accused for lack of evidence. Former Minister and Congress Senior Leader Muhammad Ali Shabir, reacting on the CBI court verdict, described the verdict as highly unfortunate. Shabir Ali pointed out that the the Supreme Court in its judgment on November 9, 2019 held that the demolition of the Barbary Masjid was clearly illegality and egregious violation of the rule of law. He pointed out that the verdict of the CBI Special Court was in total contradiction to the Supreme Court's judgment. He said it was strange that the CBI Court took only photographs and videos into consideration and later described them as not credible. Let's wind up for the day. This is Media City Top 5 News Hours. Thank you and have a nice day.